Okay, so this is question number 39. And what I would do is I'd use the ratio test. Let's look at it. It's positive term series. Don't worry about the absolute value. Uh, let's see, n goes to infinity. This can be n plus 1 factorial. And on bottom, you get n plus 1 to the n plus 1 times the reciprocal, n to the n over n factorial. <coughs> All right, one step at a time. Oh, by the way, this should read ratio test, not ration. Uh, let's take a look. You get limit, n goes to infinity. And I'm seeing the n plus 1 factorial, n factorial, which is n plus 1. And then I'm seeing an n plus 1 on the bottom. So I'm going to simply say this all kind of reduces to this over here, n plus 1 to the n. So I looked at these two here. This reduced to n plus 1. And then over there, one of the factors canceled. We left on top, n to the n. Let's keep going. Limit, n goes to infinity. This looks like n, let's see, n plus 1 to the nth power. Now again, play around with the limit if you want, or you know maybe to try something else. But I'm going to rewrite this so it looks like it's more recognizable to me. So I'm going to write this as limit n goes to infinity, and I'm going to write this as n plus 1 over n. That would be a minus 1, so I'm just going to put a minus n over here. What do you get over here? Limit n goes to infinity, and then what do you get over there? You get 1 plus 1 over n to the nth power, and this all reduces to the minus 1, by the way. What do I know about that? It just simply gives me 1 over a. I recognize the limit now. All right, so as soon as I, all that work, I forget why I did it. We're using a ratio test, and what do we know now? By the ratio test, we know that this series over here is convergent. Thank you.